Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and we're doing a artist's first look at the Surface Pro 6. Now this is the black one, which is really the only one I have ever been interested in. Uh, I love black computers. I think they're so uh, slick and just a, a fan since the Surface Pro 1 and 2, uh, which I thought were a really crappy version of a black computer. This is really nice. The uh, kickstand and everything feels the same. Uh, it looks very different, actually, than the regular Surface Pro. Just the color makes it feel very different. Uh, but it's it's got a, a really nice um, finish to the black. And it's got a texture that is actually um, almost velvety. Really pleasant. Really feels nice to hold. Uh, I was hoping for some improvement here in pen jitter. And so I did a bunch of tests in between these new Surface Pro or Surface Pro 5 and the Surface Pro 6. This is the 6 right here. And uh, right there, I just was too high off the screen. It's hard to do while holding the phone. But that and inside of Notepad to see um, OneNote, which I was using just a second ago, has line stabilization with the pencil. And it's really nice actually. So if you guys haven't used OneNote, I recommend it. And here you'll see the same thing on the uh, Surface Pro 5. And like I said, I was really hoping that I would see a improvement in the in the pen. And I really, I can't say that I noticed anything that I would, I would consider actual improvement. Now the screen is a little bit brighter. For those of you who use your Surface Pro outdoors, it is a little bit brighter or in bright situations. Not really bright enough, I think, to make a difference. Uh, I looked for actual numbers to see if there was a uh, nit rating for it and no one seemed to be able to give me that information. Uh, I called tech support and stopped in the store and asked a couple people and we were not able to pinpoint that. The iPhone 10, I believe, is 600 nits, and you can see it outside quite nicely. Uh, I don't know what the new iPhone XS or Max is, but uh, that's really what I'm, I'm looking for. Now, this is a fanless design, which means you've got an i5 and an i7 quad-core chip uh, with great battery life. And right, if you don't have a Surface yet, this is a... Well, it's I, the best one yet, but if you have a Surface Pro 5, I don't see a big enough reason without USB-C to upgrade. Now here's, you can see the difference in the brightness, very mild. All right, you guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe. And until next time, stay creative.